One of our best journals is the New England Journal of Medicine, and back in 2007, it looked at a study that showed that folks who were doing diet and exercise as part of a study versus those who had weight loss surgery. And what they showed is as you went out 10 and 15 years, that the folks who had surgery actually lived longer. There is no one type of bariatric surgery patient. We got doctors and lawyers, different professions, different ethnic groups that are dealing with obesity. And many people are finding weight loss surgery as one way to confront that problem. Each of these operations is a tool to help you achieve your goal at weight loss and, and getting healthier. Uh, but the first step the patient has to do, they have to come to the information session and begin the process of learning what we can offer and what's expected. So a sleeve and a gallbladder must be done open? No. No. I think the most important thing when you consider weight loss surgery is to make sure you're doing it for you. Uh, you can't do it for your spouse, you can't do it for your mom and dad. It has to be at a time and place in your life where you're ready to do it for yourself and you're really able to make that commitment. I'm not raising kids, so I'm taking care of me. So I want to be the best me that I can be in my next half of my life.